I think I need to make it a little bit bigger though. Yeah. Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be making a Valentine's inspired vest. My original plan was I really want to make a Valentine's Day cardigan or sweater. I just don't see that happening this year because I have a few other projects that are more more important than uh, a Valentine's Day themed thing but I didn't not want to do something so I decided that I'm just gonna make a vest last year I think I wanted to make this for Valentine's Day I think I started in November and I think I finished this after February I can't be certain I wanted to get it done for February but my crocheting skills just weren't there yet for me to like crochet that quickly I, I did get it done but this year it's it's the beginning of January and I'm gonna start this project now now here's the thing a lot of times I'll want to start a crochet project but I'll want to film it so I have to like film the intro in advance before I start the project because then sometimes I'm like oh I just I just want to start the project but it'll be 10 o'clock at night I kind of need to like film the intro and show you my supplies before I use them all up the vest in question that I am gonna make is gonna be very similar to this one now I made this one last year I think in January or February I've worn it like once or twice mainly because I just forget about it. Like this sweater here, I think I've worn only once or twice. I've wanted to make a second version of this for so long, and the version that I, I truly want to make has to do more with like browns and oranges and like more 70s colors, but you know what? I'm like, let's make a Valentine's Day inspired one of these. So I'm going to be doing four colors. So there's going to be two pinks, a red, and a white. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take what I've learned from here and apply it to the new one. I'm just, I'm pointing over to my yarn is. I think I'm going to take the sides in and I think I'm going to take these shoulders in just a little bit. That way I can lengthen the rib on the bottom, if that makes sense. Now here's the thing. I don't want to buy any yarn for this project. I keep buying yarn and it's, it's not my fault. I just need different colors, but I've kind of gotten to that point where I have enough yarn and I should just be using the yarn that I have. The yarn that I will be using is the Craft Smart yarn. And that's another thing is why I have to keep buying yarn is because I'll have some impeccable and I'll have Craft Smart, but they are, even though they say a medium four weight yarn, they're two different thicknesses. They're two different types of yarn. This one here, the Craft Smart is a little bit thicker and it's a little more coarser. Whereas the impeccable that I always get from Michael's, this one here, it's, it's thinner and it's a lot softer. I just wanna stick with one brand. So we're going with Craftsmart. I'm gonna be using this white. Now I was thinking about getting an off-white, but I don't wanna buy yarn. That is the whole point of this project is for me not to have to go buy yarn. If I need to go buy yarn because I ran out of a color, that's something completely different. That's because like I've started the project and I know I'm using that color, so I need to buy more of that color, which, which might happen with one of the colors. I'm gonna be using this pink which I overbought and you'll probably remember from the checkered like orange and pink sweater that I made like almost a year ago. I think it was like in May. I think I made it in May but I had bought this color and the orange color and I bought way too much of it. Wasn't too sure if I was going to be able to finish that project because it was one of my bigger projects and I didn't know if I was going to have enough yarn so I bought the yarn and now I have way too much of it so that's why I'm trying to use up my yarn stash before I have to buy more yarn and then I'm going to be using this pink here which is actually the same pink that I used to make my holiday winter sweater. Also lent it to my sister and she used it. So I don't know if this is gonna be enough. You can kind of see the difference in colors and then the pink that I'm wearing is the impeccable brand so that's why I'm not using that color. Might need to buy another skein of this. And then the last color I am going to be use is this red which is also by Craft Smart. It was between this red and the red that's on these roses. Maybe they're the same? I don't know. The impeccable red is like a different shade and I was going to use that one but I'm like no we want to stick with the same weight of yarn, the same type of yarn. That way the project turns out. If I were to mix them together I don't think it'd be too big of a deal. It would be a little off because like when I make a stitch such as this if I were to make a stitch like this with a thinner yarn this is what it would look like but if I were to use a thicker yarn it would be different the sizing would be different thus the project might look a little wonky I want to stick with these colors and we'll see where that goes now I do have a lot of this pink so I might do the border in this color and I might do the sides in this color because I think I have like three more skeins of this of this pink yarn I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook so that's pretty much it for this intro. I guess I just need to plan out how I want the colors to work with each other and start 
making this project and hopefully I will get it done before Valentine's Day. Alrighty, so I just kind of drew up a little diagram of my plans. So what I'm gonna do is basically two giant granny squares, one on the front, one on the back. They're gonna be the exact same, but I'm not too sure how many rows I wanna do yet. Then I'm going to be making two shoulder straps, shoulders, you know, just to connect the front and the back. Something to sit on my shoulders so it's not a tube top, you know. Then I'll be adding some sides on the side to connect the front and the back together. Hopefully this makes sense to y'all. We'll also be adding ribbing to the bottom of this vest. Okay, so basically this is one hour of work, give or take, I take snack breaks. I forgot how quick it is to make these types of granny squares. I'm almost done the front part. Like I'm gonna be done the front part today. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought. I don't know why, but this is just, it's so easy. And I really like how the colors are kind of going. I like how I went the lighter to the darker and I did end up doing two rows of each. But what I'm gonna do is after I'm done this pink layer, I'm gonna go back to the white layer, but I'm only gonna do one layer. So I'm gonna do only like one of white and then back to this pink for the front square. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the back. Then all I have to do is the sides and then I have to do the, the shoulders. But I think I'm gonna do the shoulders a little differently than my last vest. And then I have to do the ribbing on the bottom. If you want a quick project, these large granny squares, it would have taken me a lot longer if I were to do single crochets. So this is going a lot faster than I thought and I really like how this is looking right now. Updating on the vest and where I am, I had to stop for the last two weeks because I was working on um, the knitting machine project. But let me show you where I am now that I can get back to this. I made the first square. Looking at it, I feel like maybe I should have made it a little bit bigger. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger though. Yeah, I don't know, because it looked right, but no. I thought this square was done. Apparently it's not done. I mean, it does have to go all the way up there and that's too low. I think I might do a red row and then I'll do a dark. Mm -hmm. Just thinking. I think I might add a red row, another dark pink row, and then maybe one more white row. And then after the white row, I want to do like the very light pink for the sides and I want to do the light pink for the shoulders. Then what I want to do, and I don't know where that is, I did buy another pink. I was running low on this color. I take this color and I want to make it the border trim of the piece. So I did get this far on the second one, not realizing that I'm gonna have to add more to this one, but it's fine, it will happen. I had other things on my mind for the last two weeks. I'm gonna add some more colors to this one, do the same for this one, and then once these two are done, I am going to do the sides, I'm going to do the shoulders, and then I'm gonna take this color, because I, although like I think I could get away with using this light pink color, it looks white on the camera, although I think I can get away with using this white pink, white, light pink color for the trim, I kinda wanna like change it up a little bit, so I'm gonna use the darker pink, because I really do like this color also I bought it for the purpose and I'm not going back now that's that uh, I'll catch back up with y'all when I have both squares completely done completely done last night I ended up adding more rows so where I left off I where was I where I left off I can't remember now I held it up to me and I'm like oh it's too small I need to add more rows and then I think I just added one extra row on the end I think did start working on the sides and at first I was actually just gonna do one color for the sides. I was gonna do this light pink color, but I decided, you know, what, I'm just gonna carry it across. So it just kind of looks like it continues. So I thought that looked pretty cute. So I'm doing that on this side and then I'm currently working it on this side as well. And then when I'm done this, I'm actually going to lay the other piece down and then connect the tops together and I think I'm gonna do the same effect where I do like the same as the side I'm gonna do up here I'm gonna do the ribbing at the bottom again in this pink color thank goodness I bought more of it because like this is it and then I'm un sure if I want to do like a little tiny cuff around the arms and around the neck we'll have to see that's that's a that's a let me try on see how it fits see how it looks see if I want to add more stuff onto it problem tomorrow or the next day problem but for right now I am just going to continue doing the, the sides so yeah it happened again of course, of course it would, of course it would. You'd think I would learn from the previous projects, but no, 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 that's not how it works. I attached the side, the sides. This was the good side. 
and this here's the bad side or like the inside and the outside okay you see where i'm going these should have both been the inside or both been the outside which means that this that i just stitched up must now be taken out and i know i could just put the, the things in the other way you know it's late when i start messing up so i really need to stop so i'm gonna stop for tonight i did get the shoulders done uh, here's the other one i've been really just looking at this one as an example so basically i just have to attach everything and i'll do that tomorrow and then i can start the ribbing tomorrow but for now i'm done several days later okay it's been a few days because i was uh i basically spent all yesterday editing a video so i didn't have time to crochet but i finally got back to it i i detached it and i'm gonna re-sew it because i don't ever learn my lessons i don't and I don't think I ever will. I'm just, I'm gonna reattach them properly now. And then I think I'm gonna do a try on. Hopefully I attach everything right this time. I put it together. This is what it's looking like. It actually fits a little bit nicer than the other one. It's cute. I do like the colors and I like how I did the sides like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna be putting ribbing on the bottom. I don't know if I wanna put trim on the sides, right? Because there's like, I have to hide like all these. This is more of like a, a square neckline. So I don't know if I wanna do trim here. I might do like a little pink border of just like single crochets, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything else with this. Just, you know, just to hide the, you know, all these little doodads. So I think I might do the bottom first just to get that out of the way so I don't have to worry about it and then work on this. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I did end up putting the border around the arms and I have to say it turned out a lot better than I expected it to. So I finished it up today. I ended up doing little little detail on the like the arms and then as well as I did the same thing for the neck, which I think turned out really, really well. As you probably can tell, the next step is to hide all these ends because I can't just leave them. They'll they'll poke through on the other side. So I'm gonna spend the rest of tonight weaving in all these ends and then I will be done. All right, and the vest is done. I think it turned out so stinking cute. Like, I think it looks, it looks so cute. And I took what I learned from the last vest I made, which was pretty much a year ago, and applied it to this one. So I made it a little bit smaller on the sides here, and then I did add a collar, and I added some cuffs on like the armholes. I don't really know what bottoms to wear with it, so I just put on a black skirt. Another way that I would like to wear this, I did buy one of these frilly collars, I think back in the summertime, and I bought it mainly for those dresses that I used to make. You remember those ones, like near the beginning, more beginning of my channel I would always make those like three tiered dresses so that's why I kind of bought it but like I think it actually looks kind of cute like this I, I know it kind of looks like a bib but I love it you know I could also wear it like this if I so choose to do so I also think that if I had like a white skirt or a pink skirt or a red skirt something that wasn't plaid I think I would pair it with it as well I just love how these colors look together. It's very Valentine's Day -y, even though like, you know, I don't really have anywhere to go for it and that's fine. But yes, like the back is the same as the front. Really like how this vest fits. Unlike the other two vests that I've made, I just didn't like how they fit me. Like I mentioned in one of my videos, they just feel like a life jacket is pretty much the way that I can describe it. Whereas this, because it is like that like a giant granny square. There's a lot more give. There's a lot more like flow. It's more breathable. I had to buy more of the pink yarn, like the darker pink yarn, which is fine. I love the color. I'm going to use it for other things. I probably give this an eight, an eight out of 10, just because it is very seasonal. Like I don't really see myself wearing this in the fall or the summer or around Christmas. It is more February-esque. I like how I did do the collar. I wasn't too sure because my other one, it is a very square neck. Let me just show you that to you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think the alterations that I made for this by adding the collar and the, the cuffs here, I'm gonna do it to this because I think it needs it. Or at least the collar. I think a collar on here would look really cute. I think I might add a little collar, but like look at the difference, right? It almost gives it the illusion of that it's a little bit more rounder than a giant square. For the sides, the only thing that kind of bothers me is that the way that it like hangs over and I can feel it like touching my arm. It's a little, it's a little odd, but here's the thing because it is a crochet project, it is acrylic, it is gonna stretch out. So I feel like these are eventually gonna be a little bit looser. I just have to wear it for it to do it. Yeah, I really like the 
alterations that I did make. So for like this one here, I ended up doing one row of colors each, but for here I did two rows of colors, which I love so much. Sometimes I just get so excited when I'm doing my try-ons that I kind of forget to mention some things. I had said that I did two rows for each color. That's true for the first four rows. Then after the first four rows, I ended up doing a single row of each color. And then the other thing that I did do different is on the shoulders for this one and on the sides I just made them black the last color layer I did whereas this one instead of just doing it one color which was my initial plan I was gonna use this uh, the light pink here and do that what I did is I just continued the pattern going so I went stopped and then kind of did a reverse back it builds up and then it comes back down so it's still the pattern right that's what I did on both the sides yes it was a little bit more of a process to like leave in all the ends because there are so many ends to leave in but in the long run, I think this is uh, a winner. I really like how this fits. I think the other one that I had, you know, obviously this one's the only one I'm mentioning. I feel like that one fit like this at one point, but because I wore it a lot, it did end up stretching out and I'm okay with that. I do like the oversized fit, so I am fine if it does stretch out just just a little bit. Also, I know I am putting this video out at the beginning of February instead of like maybe closer to Valentine's Day, which is like, you know, two weeks in. But I thought if I put this video out now, if any of y'all want to recreate this for Valentine's Day, you have two weeks to do so. <laughs> That's how, that's how I, I see it. So that way, if you want to also do this, you have time to make it before, before Valentine's Day. Pretty much does it for this video. If you are new to my channel, you like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that is it. So y'all have a good day now.